Hey everyone, my name is Ben Spotswood and today I'm going to show you how to collect emails on your WordPress site using sumo.com's app list builder. For tutorial purposes, I will be using the rosebudexperiment.com, which is the site of the Rosebud Experiment podcast, my newest project, which will be launching very soon. So I'm excited to see how the Sumo software is going to help build my audience and email list. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to pretend that I haven't already installed the Sumo plugin, but I'm going to take you through that real quick anyway. So we'll go back to the WordPress dashboard real quick to install the Sumo plugin. You'll go down here to plugins, click add new, oops, add new. Up here in the search bar, you're going to type in Sumo. It'll come up right here. Uh, instead of saying active like it does on mine, it'll say install now like it does over here. You'll click that, follow the simple instructions. There are other simple instructions on sumo.com's website uh, that you can follow easily. It lets you set it up on your WordPress site without any problems. So you're going to activate it. And then once it's activated, you're going to go to installed plugins. Come down here to Sumo Me, click Settings, and it's going to be a different screen than this to help you connect Sumo to your WordPress site, but since I already have it installed, this is what comes up for me. So in order to go and start building a list, we're going to go to My Apps at this point. All right, so List Builder is over here in the left-hand sidebar. It's under Forms, so you go to Forms, List Builder, click that. I don't have any forms created, so we're going to go over here and create a new form. All right, now these are the different options over here to the left of what you might like to do. Because I have the... Um, most simple version of Sumo, the free version. I uh, will only be collecting emails, but that's all I really need to be doing right now anyway because I'm launching my website. So I don't need to be doing much more than that. I need to bring in my followers, get their emails so I can build my audience. So what we're going to do is click collect emails like it's already shown. From there, we're going to go to form type. It's going to be a pop-up box that's going to show up when they initially come onto your website. Uh, we can configure some other things about how long uh, it takes before that comes up. That'll be later on. So it's going to be a pop-up box here. Design. Now, if I were to have Sumo Pro or any of the other versions, we could use a whole bunch of different templates. But since I only have the free version, we're going to go with the default. Come down here. Animation. I personally like the swing animation, so we're going to use that. Yeah, it looks good. Now, because I'm creating this for my own website, I'm going to go ahead and start messing around with it and kind of customize it to how I want it to look. Um, so in order to customize it, you can come over here and click these areas. So you can mess around with the specific lettering and wording of everything. So here I'm going to say All right. Let's see. Try and find the font that all of my site is in. Go to slab. It's in bold. Good. The colors of my website website are red and green, so we're going to choose those. Alright, All right, so next we're going to go to this box. And I want to say here, let's see. Uh, 
it easy enough. Change the font again. This box, change it to something a little more fun. So you enter your email. Why not? Or tonic. <laughs> Just something different. Make it interesting. All right, one last button. I like to say become a member. Hopefully it makes them feel like they're joining more of a community rather than just an email list. Fail slam. Make this background color a little more green. That's good there. Maybe increase this a little bit more. All right, now in order for um, it to all look the same once they type in their email and click become a member, uh, the next part that's going to come up is the success box. So you kind of want that to look the same as the uh, content of the subscribe box. So I want the kind of the colors and everything to match and the, the fonts as well. So fix that up real quick. Success is good. Change this. Red. You're now subscribed. I like to say more of something like you're. Welcome to the club. How about that? Um, continue, continue is good. Change all this. Um, most of this video is going to be me changing the font styles, but that's okay. Continue, make this 18. Make this more green. That's good. All right. Now next we'll go to the visibility. So in order for me to show you how this works on my site, I'm going to go ahead and go to manual mode and make it to where they see it at a timed uh, appearance. So it's going to be for the first five seconds that they come onto my site this box is going to pop up for them to leave their email. I'm going to go ahead and make it always show so that they can, so that I can show it to you real quick. But you're, you can mess around with this a lot more. You can add display rules so they can show or don't show on certain forms. It's very interesting and very cool to see this. Success. And you can add a new email. Once they do send, uh, put their email in, I have an automatic email responder to them. Um, for the sake of simplicity in this video, I'm not going to go into that too much, um, but it's easy enough to do.
connect to an email service. I'm already connected to MailChimp. Uh, great service. So let's go ahead and publish this and see how it looks. All right. So we'll go to the rosebudexperiment.com. And we're here, live on my website. We're kind of searching around, looking at what it's like. Oh, and there it is. That's easy enough. So can't wait to see how Sumo is going to help me grow my audience, build my email list. I think this is a very useful and awesome tool. Um, anybody's able to install this all for free. Uh, I think it's worth it probably down the road to upgrade to the Pro so you can get the other services and get the different kinds of templates to make things look really great. But for now, my name's Ben Spotswood. I hope this tutorial has helped you out to install Sumo on your WordPress site and start collecting those emails and building your audience. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a great day.